Hello, Robert here from European Watch Company in Boston. And today I have with me the Richard Mill RM6702. This is the lightest automatic watch in their catalog. Uh, when creating it, they started with the 6701, which is the ultra slim automatic. And then they worked on making improvements to the movement and improvements to the materials in order to create what in their opinion is the ultimate sports watch. Uh, this is kind of your archetypal Richard Mill in that there is an awful lot of technology crammed into a very small package. We have a carbon TPT case, uh, which uses very tiny, super thin carbon fiber material. Um, and it creates a case that is resistant to changes in heat and shock resistant and durable and extremely lightweight, uh, combined with titanium plates on the movement, the total weight for this watch is only 32 grams. In order to achieve that, they also created a brand new strap for this, which is an elastic band. It is the lightest strap that they have ever created. And there's a couple different variations of these in different colors. This one was made for the rally driver, Sebastian Oyer and it is finished in the colors of the French flag. So you have red, white, and blue details on the dial and the crown and the strap. On this watch, it features the caliber CRMA7. Uh, as I said, this has titanium plates in it, grade five titanium, which helps keeps it light. And it is fully skeletonized. So you do get that archetypal Richard Mill look uh, where you can see right through it and you can really see everything that's going on in the movement. Like many Richard Mill watches, these are used and endorsed by athletes. It's part of how he has built his brand from the ground up to be a powerhouse in the watch world. Uh, it is designed to be used as a sport watch. And so that's why you see Richard Mills, you know, being used uh, in tennis matches and on the wrists of golfers while they're playing sports. We typically do not recommend with mechanical watches. The other interesting thing about the RM67 is, is we had some of the earlier ones. We had the RM05, we've seen the RM10, and they're beautiful designs and they're incredible watchmaking. And I never really connected with those watches. Uh, they never felt right on the wrist to me. When we got the first RM6701 and I put that on, that was a game changer for me. That was like, now I get it. You know, the way it fits on the wrist, the architecture of the case, the integration of the strap, just this was the one where I said, okay, now I understand why people view Richard Mill the way they do, because this is more than just a, hey, look at me watch, which a lot of people kind of think this is, right? It is an expression of extreme watchmaking, extreme success, and, you know, to a point, extreme price. This watch being as slim and as light as it is, is obviously incredible on the wrist. Um, the profile, even if you have a smaller wrist, it still fits really well. It's super comfortable. I mean, at 32 grams, it's barely there. And uh, it's a true testament to Richard Mill advancing the horological world in a way that many other more traditional brands are not.